any human will have power beyond anything we have ever known. If need be, our food will be light and sound. We'll be able to levitate. We'll live for up to 5,000 years. And we'll be telepathic. When this kicks in, it will be quick. The time is near. It's time for you to join the stars. It's time for the bad uh, to leave and the good in humanity to come out. It's time to rise. A uh, Prometheus gauntlet here. Uh, as you can see, I cut my hair. Um, I'm, I'm not a ponytail guy after all. I gave it a shot. Uh, I even saved my hair, longest hair I ever had. <laughs> but uh, no, I just uh, decided to get rid of it. I'm going to have to be working pretty 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 soon and uh don't want to look like uh, uh, I guess not a spiritual person but somebody that uh like a, a hippie or something like that I'm pretty sure that because uh, it, it looked pretty bad on me because I'm bald you know I'm bald naturally and I have the bad baldness anyway but uh that ponytail just made it look like crazy and I'm waiting for this fire to start. Uh, I decided to add to the uh, cornbread video, and I'm going to try this. I already mixed it up. These uh, Mary Callender's biscuits. I added some honey in there. I didn't have any milk or eggs put in there, and I hope it rises. It may not rise. But uh, this time I used the pan with foil in it so that it can, you know, be easier to clean. And that's pretty much it. Uh, working on the fire, getting there, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Okay. All right, there she is. She's cooking. <laughs> A lot of smoke. Don't really care about the smoke. Just hope it rises good. It does look like it's plumping a little bit. We'll see. I decided to uh, put it underneath the grill, right on top of the coals, and see if that'll heat them up a little bit better than uh, they were before, or the uh, cornbread was before. It seems as though it's just too much space there. they got to get real hot. So... Yeah. Look at that big ass hole in this thing. Public, man, I'm telling you. Look at that big ass hole. Anyway. Ooh, smoke. Right. Okay, here we go. They're still hot, so I had to use a little vice grip to to move the pan. I saw I learned this from Dave uh Canterbury. But uh, you could also use it to remove this. It looks pretty, pretty pliant, pretty like bread, you know. Very, really, it's nice and plump, and it's kind of soft. Remember, I put honey in this recipe. No milk, no margarine, just uh, honey and uh, a couple of tablespoons of, um, no, probably like three tablespoons of um, olive oil because uh, I didn't want to use the uh, vegetable oil yet. So it should taste very sweet, theoretically. But I'll let it cool down and I'll try some. Oh, yeah. It's cool enough. I'm going to give it a try. Oops. Looks fluffy. See, when I was eating meat a long time ago, <laughs> I used to have this with lots of butter, lots of margarine, uh, any kind of biscuit. To me, it wasn't a biscuit without that. But if you need something just to fill you up, you know, just feel it. Ooh, still a little bit hot there. 
and blow on it. See, it's nice and fluffy. That's what matters. Mmm. Tastes good. Not bad. Can't complain. Especially when you got nothing. This is better than nothing. That's for damn sure. I'll put the rest away and get tacos. <laughs> but, uh, yes, you can substitute uh, certain oils for the margarine uh, or the butter. Although, of course, biscuits taste better with those if you uh, are still eating uh, animal product. It's not bad. You know, it's just a little thing. Anyway, Good survival food. It'll keep for probably a year. You know, I was thinking, as far as survival is concerned, there's no excuse because just about everything on the shelf makes uh, a good survival food. It'll last at least one year. If it lasts two years, three years, fine. But everybody should be able to save up a year's worth of food, uh, at least stuff that you'll eat, you know, uh, dry and frozen and all kinds of stuff. So... Yeah, if there's a disaster, you know, we should be able to eat for a year. And it, it just takes a little bit of space to do that. You know, it doesn't take a lot. So I have so much pasta stored. I have so much, uh, I have a lot of these packets. I'm getting more. I have that, that spaghetti. I even found a, a sauce packet for chili. So I could probably make some vegan chili or something like that. And uh, that's a, just another interesting thing. I'll probably try a crock pot instead of the, the fire because it takes a lot of effort to make a fire and keep the fire going. But, uh, yeah, that's it. There she is. Beautiful. Yeah. Manna from heaven, huh? <laughs> All right, guys, take care. This is the end of the bread video. <laughs> take care. Any human will have power beyond anything we have ever known. If need be, our food will be light and sound. We'll be able to levitate. We'll live for up to 5,000 years. And we'll be telepathic. When this kicks in, it will be quick. The time is near. It's time for you to join the stars. It's time for the bad uh, to leave and the good in humanity to come out. It's time to rise.